A warm welcome to your Wadding Today Evening News Update for Monday, May 16. Tourism stakeholders are taking action to address a shortage of workers in the industry. Word of this from Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Rudy Grant, who confirmed that many workers who were laid off at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic have not returned to the sector. He said stakeholders are assessing the shortfall to fill the gaps. Grant stressed that workers are critical to tourism. Um, we have had um, preliminary discussions with the Minister of Tourism as well as the Minister of Education. Um, our expectation is that we will soon have uh, a meeting with um, all of the relevant um, stakeholders, including the Ministry of Labour, to discuss this issue and to determine how best we can go forward. Because, um, you know, we talk a lot about the industry, we talk a lot about occupancy, we talk about the visitor arrival numbers, we talk about the attractions. The reality is that the sustainable development of this industry really depends in significant manner on the, the workers. Um, the workers are critical, the workers are important to the future growth and development of this industry. And um, we have to ensure that we have um, the adequate skills, that we have the adequate personnel to be able to continue to um, facilitate the development of this industry. And therefore, we are going to be having those discussions to, to speak to this issue. Meanwhile, current hotel bookings for the summer are up, and the BHDA boss describes the projections as reasonable. Grant says projections of our 40% occupancy levels compared to the 30% reported a few weeks ago. We have been seeing some improvement in the um, projected arrival numbers. Uh, presently, the projections for the summer, those are in the 40s. And um, my expectation is that we will continue to see some uh, growth there. The, the greater challenge exists with mainly uh, our B-class hotels and some A-class. Um, what we are recognizing is that the, the luxury category is performing well and there are some A-class hotels that are performing uh, reasonably well. Uh, but at the, the lower end of the market, there are some challenges as well. Um, we, we do recognize that um, there are a number of persons who have shifted from the traditional accommodation to villas. So the villa segment of the market is doing um, extremely well. So that we, we are anticipating a reasonable summer at this stage. Um, we are optimistic that that is what will occur. Um, the expectation is that the occupancy will, will go beyond the, the 40s. But while I say that, the, the recognition has to be that that is, for, that is on average. The Sanitation Service Authority has uncovered another case of illegal dumping, this time at the cemetery of the Christchurch Parish Church. The SSA's Public Relations Officer, Carl Alf Padmore, told reporters today dumpers have been using skips provided for workers to keep the cemetery tidy for dumping oil appliances, tires and other items. As you can see, the skip is here for the express purpose of when we finish cut um, uh, graves that we can have the uh, grass here. What persons are bringing stoves, sometimes we find um, tires and different things here. This, this can't be good because this skip is for the purpose of the SSA. And let us understand that the cemetery is private property. It is public from the only purpose that you come to either attend a funeral or you come to pay respect during opening hours to your loved one that has gone on. But you don't come here and bring what is at your house onto the property. Um, when we check, you can be prosecuted for doing that because you'll be trespassing and you did not get permission from the superintendent um, of cemeteries. You would like persons to desist from doing that. Padmore also raised concern that some cars were being abandoned on the grounds of cemeteries. He urged Barbadians to be more respectful of cemeteries. What we are appealing to that person to do and others, if you have your vehicle spot, on the premises or around any of our cemeteries, please uh, move them. We believe in moral suasion first. We believe in encouraging persons to do the right thing. SSA has never been one that we come with the big stick first. So even before dealing with the law, we said, look, let's, let's use the media to say to these persons to do the right thing. Uh, we want persons as well as they traverse any of our cemeteries. There are persons who live nearby. And you might walk to a cemetery, to your home, to church, whatever. Please refrain from stepping directly onto a person's grave. 
Now for the latest COVID-19 update, the Best Santos Public Health Laboratory identified 324 new cases of the viral illness, 148 males and 176 females tested positive from the 1,080 tests conducted on Sunday. The cases comprise 105 persons under the age of 18 and 219 who were 18 years and older. 101 people are in isolation facilities, while 4,868 are in home isolation. An 82-year-old American male passed away as a result of the virus on Sunday. COVID-19-related deaths stand at 434. There's regional and international news after this short break. New Brunswick sardine fillets, boneless, ready to eat. Perfect, son. Hold on, hold on, one more. It is sardine. Well, let's see. And available in bold new flavors. Brunswick sardine fillets are giving sardines a new vibe. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Now, the regional scene in Jamaica, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has appealed for calm and patience as various workers in the public sector demand wage increases. More in this report from Television Jamaica. The Jamaica Civil Service Association withdrew a notice which would see its more than 30,000 members strike on Monday. But there was still uncertainty over whether any other group would take strike action this week. Ahead of the work week, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark sought to pull on the heartstrings of public sector workers once more, reminding them that the country is moving forward economically. However, this much-needed economic recovery can easily be interrupted and reversed if services are disrupted due to industrial action. Such a reversal would set Jamaica back tremendously, costing jobs. This would negatively impact us all from the decline in government revenues that would follow and the cuts in budgetary expenditure that would then become necessary. Jamaica cannot afford this. A consultative process is now underway for the finance ministry to conclude negotiations for the compensation review. However, Dr. Clark says it is a complex reform. He says consultations will conclude with central government workers first. He promised to engage with unions representing workers in public bodies within six people. Further feel an investigation into the weekend shooting of more than a dozen people at a western New York supermarket took a new turn on Monday. Authorities are seeking to decide whether authorities missed telltale signs and red flags left by the teenager. At a news conference today, attorney Ben Crump, who was surrounded by family members of some of the victims, charged that 18-year-old patent Gwendron carried out an act of racially motivated violent extremism. It is irreversible trauma that has happened to our community for no other reason other than the skin that they have been born in. A city in suffering as authorities investigate the murder of 10 people. FBI agents are collecting and documenting evidence. And now authorities say the suspected gunman had plans to continue his deadly rampage. He'd been scouting the location as early as March, looking for possible sites to attack. We have uncovered evidence that he was here in this area. Investigators say the suspect specifically targeted the store because he wanted to kill as many black people as possible. Over the weekend, he pleaded not not guilty to first degree murder. A lot of the anger that people are having aside from the fact that their loved ones have been murdered for going to the supermarket is that justice is not specific enough. This can't be another one of those cases. Authorities also say the suspect would have continued his rampage if not stopped by police. He could have easily have retreated back into that store where there were dozens of other customers in that store. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. 
We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.